Greetings, this is Bubble Waves 3.0, and this is the third generation of this data pack. So, first things first, if you already have older version installed, all you need to do is disable or just remove the archive of old version and install the new 3.0, and it will say old version outdated, installed, I mean uninstalled, and new version was loaded. Also, you will need a newest version of the resource pack, of course. Now, when anyone joins your server or you join your world, the message has been changed. For example, it says resource pack was found. But if someone will join your server without resource pack, you get message resource pack not found and get a link. He can press it and open site and download pack for themselves without asking you to do anything more. To get bubble bench, you do the same things. You get a crafting table and a cutting and a stone cutter. Also now you can use slash function give bubble waves and the name of block or item. This is just simpler without crafting anything. And of course this one works as well, now I have two of them. You can see that I changed textures, that's how they look, and I also upgraded a lot of stuff, so let's just open it. Here you can see the menu, it has furniture, category, you can scroll, it's a second page, third page, and then security category. So let's begin from here. Uh, it has the name, the category, for example, ca decoration block. It means that it does not do anything. And survival mode, material required to craft. And it says icon and amount. For example, here I need planks. But in creative mode, I can take all of them without uh, needing any resource. For example, shelf and cabinet. You can put it and unlike older versions, now they don't rotate after you place, they place just like they must place. And let's place cabinet and a shelf. So tables don't do much, cabinets are just containers and shelf can actually store items if you just press it. Then goes coaches and office chairs. Coaches are two blocks wide, so you cannot place them here, only this way. Of course, this would also won't work. And here we go. It has two places for two players, of course. You can leave it destroy and remember that in, it's also survival mode friendly if you will break anything with your hand you will get it back and if you misplace it it will also get back next one is office chair you can of course just use it as a normal chair so next ones are ceiling, fan, doorbell, shower, computer, toilet and screen. Ceiling fan can be placed only on the roof or only on the ceiling, for example here. And all blocks of course have descriptions that can describe what this block does and how to use it. For example I can enable it, disable, I can put a bunch of them, enable this one, I enable these ones, of course. Then doorbell is just doorbell. Shower is just shower. If you step in it, it will make these particles. Uh, computer is just decoration. Toilet is just sitting block. Then uh, goes the screen. And if you press it, Okay, I had some glitch, now it's working fine, and if I press, it will just recrawl you. 
Yes, maybe later I will add more channels, but for now just recruit. <laughs> um, so, and here goes the security. So first is combination lock. If I will get a door, I will uh, put it here and then combination lock. First time you click, you can enter the password. For example, my password will be negative 987. It's now locked. And if I enter any password, it will just say no. And if I type the right one, it will emit redstone signal for two and a half seconds. Uh, also, it has this glitch. I will uh, fix it later because I don't think it's necessary for now. The same, but a little bit different. This block instead, the first one who click will be as owner and no one else but me can click any meter stone signal. If any other player will do this, he will fail because this is a face ID scanner, which is also pretty cool for some RP stuff as well. Next one is CCTV camera. If you, for example, I will put one here, another here, and maybe I want to put another here. Then I need a CCTV camera monitor. I just right click and it says nothing because I need to step close to a camera. Now I can register it. Let's register another one now I have two cameras and now I will have three cameras so anywhere I can go to any game mode because it stores which game mode he used and I can go from one to three and this ID is always remains the same one is the oldest you set and three is the newest the most recent one and you can switch between them spectate and cameras have also a little bit thing interesting that if you block anywhere it will also always keep and now if I right click and use second I will also see an armor stand just showing where I was and I only see what I want to see. I don't spectate the wall, which is pretty cool. And this is all for now. There are most changes were technical. I completely rewrote the whole data pack. Now it uses less workarounds. It's now better and it's, it just takes a lot of time to uh, actually write a texture, make a model, then register them, etc. It's just routine work and I'll do it soon, just stay tuned.